Learning Module 3 focuses on deductive arguments and their characteristics. It also introduces the distinction between the categorical logic created by Aristotle some 2,500 years ago and modern propositional logic. Our major goal will be to understand deductive inference and analyze its characteristics. Among the concepts we'll explore will be validity, argument form, soundness, and deductive cogency. After completing this unit, you should be able to do the following. State the difference between valid and invalid arguments. Apply some common techniques for determining validity. Explain the concept of entailment. Differentiate between categorical and propositional argument forms. Recognize a sound deductive argument and explain the concept of deductive cogency. Perhaps the best way to exemplify deductive reasoning is to look at geometric proofs. How would we prove, for example, that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees? Well, we could use a protractor or a compass to measure the interior angles of every triangle we ran across, and then add the angles and see if they totaled 180 degrees. But this method would never prove that every possible triangle in the universe will always have interior angles that sum to 180 degrees. We need a different method, a deductive method whose conclusion will always be necessitated by the premises. That is, if the premises are true, then the conclusion can't be false. It must be true. And that's what a deduction is, a set of premises leading to a conclusion that we must accept provided the premises are true. Here's the deductive proof. Let X be a line drawn parallel to side AB of triangle ABC that goes through point C. Line AC cuts line X and AB at the same angle, angle BAC. BC cuts X and AB at the same angle, angle ABC. These two angles and the final angle, angle ACB, form a straight angle on X, which is always 180 degrees. And as you can see, these are precisely the angles that are interior to the triangle. Therefore, the interior angles of a triangle are equal to 180 degrees. For those who are math phobic, here's another example of a deduction. All bachelors are male. Tim is a bachelor, so Tim is a male. As you can see, the argument has this form. All B are M. T is a B, therefore T is an M. Here's one more. If interest rates rise, then the stock market declines. The stock market did not decline, so interest rates did not rise. This argument is an instance of a deductive argument form known as modus tollens. It looks like this. If P, then Q, not Q, therefore not P. Get the idea? Pretty powerful. And that's why deductive reasoning is so attractive and why it has evolved in ways that Euclid and Aristotle could not have imagined, such as in modern computer programming. It's amazing stuff. You be the judge. Enjoy this learning module.